Johnny Depp is an actor known for his portrayal of eccentric characters in films like Sleepy Hollow, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. In this video, we are going to tell you about the life story of Johnny Depp. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick till the end. But before we start make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so let's start. Who is Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp landed his first legitimate movie role in Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984. He began studying acting in earnest, the lessons paying off in 1987 when he landed a role on the TV show 21 Jump Street. He has since become known for his willingness to take on darker roles in films such as Edward Scissorhands, 1990, Sleepy Hollow, 1999, and Alice in Wonderland, 2010 as well as his starring efforts in the big-budget Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Early life Johnny Depp was born John Christopher Depp Rowan II in Owensboro, Kentucky, on June 9, 1963, to parents John and Betty Sue Depp. Depp's father worked as a civil engineer and his mother worked as a waitress and homemaker. The youngest of four children, Depp was withdrawn and an admitted oddball. Depp and his family moved frequently to accommodate his father's job, finally landing in Murammer, Florida, when Depp was seven years old. The family lived in a motel for nearly a year, until his father found a job. Depp hated his new home and by the age of 12 began smoking, experimenting with drugs and engaging in self-harm due to the stress of family problems. In 1978, when Depp was 15, his parents got divorced. As the youngest of four, it became Depp's job to go to his father's office and pick up the weekly child support money. The split caused a rift between Depp and his father. At 16, Depp dropped out of high school and joined a garage band called The Kids. The group became successful enough to open for the Talking Heads and the B-52s, but they barely made ends meet. Depp lived for months in a friend's 67 Chevy Impala. Introduction to Acting and 21 Jump Street in 1983, at the age of 20, Depp met and married 25-year-old makeup artist Lori Allison. That same year, the couple moved to L.A. with Depp's band in the hopes of striking it big. Still living on a shoestring budget, Depp and his bandmates supported themselves by selling pens for a telemarketing firm. A year later, Depp fell into acting when his wife introduced him to her ex-boyfriend, actor Nicolas Cage. Cage saw potential in Depp, and introduced the hopeful musician to a Hollywood agent. After several small roles as an extra, Depp landed his first legitimate movie role in the horror film Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984. By 1985, the kids had broken up, and so had Depp's marriage. After his split with Allison, Depp struck up a relationship with actress Sherilyn Fenn, whom he met on the set of the short film Dummies, 1985. They were briefly engaged but split shortly after. After their breakup, Depp then met and proposed to actress Jennifer Grey. Their romance was also short-lived. Depp started to study acting in earnest, first in classes at the Loft Studio in Los Angeles and then with a private coach. The lessons paid off in 1987 when he replaced actor Jeff Yagher in the role of undercover cop Tommy Hansen in the popular Canadian film television series 21 Jump Street. The role thrust Depp into almost immediate stardom. He became a teen idol overnight, though he resented that label. When his contract on Jump Street expired in 1989, he leaped at the opportunity to pursue weightier roles. Mainstream success Cry Baby and Edward Scissorhands In 1990, Depp starred in the John Waters 50s kitsch musical Cry Baby, 1990 which became a cult hit and succeeded in changing his image. That same year, he received an opportunity to exhibit his versatility as an actor in the titular role of Tim Burton's fantasy film, Edward Scissorhands. The movie not only established Depp as an A-list actor, but it also grossed more than $1.54 million at the box office. Following the film's success, Depp carved a niche for himself as a serious, somewhat dark, idiosyncratic performer, consistently selecting roles that surprise critics and audiences alike. It was during shooting for Edward Scissorhands that Depp met co-star Winona Ryder, whom he'd been eyeing since a brief meeting at the premiere for her film Great Balls of Fire, 1989. 
The two began dating on the set and soon became a Hollywood power couple. Five months after their first date, Depp and Ryder became engaged. To solidify their love, Depp even had Winona Forever tattooed on his right arm. The couple split, however, in 1993 after Ryder's parents forbade their daughter to marry. Personal life and legal matters While filming the sci-fi drama The Ninth Gate, 1999, in France, Johnny met a French actress, singer, and model Vanessa Paradis. Paradis became pregnant with the couple's first child later that year. In May 1999, the couple welcomed daughter Lily Rose Melody Depp. Depp and Paradis had their second child, son Jack John Christopher Depp Rowan III, three years later. In 2012, stories began to circulate that Depp and Paradis had split up. Depp initially denied these rumors, but his representative confirmed the couple's breakup in June. In a statement given to Entertainment Tonight, Depp's representative said that the pair have amicably separated and asked that people respect their privacy and the privacy of their children. Depp and Paradis had been together for nearly 14 years when they split. Depp met another future love interest on the set of a film while still publicly involved with Paradis. While filming The Rum Diary, he met co-star Amber Heard. The couple was seen publicly together for the first time in 2012, not long after Depp split with Paradis. The couple got engaged on Christmas Eve in 2013 and tied the knot in February 2015. Heard filed for divorce in May 2016, and shortly afterward she also filed a restraining order, alleging that Depp had been verbally and physically abusive. The two reached a settlement that August and the divorce was finalized in January 2017. However, after Heard penned an op-ed in December 2018 that described her experiences with domestic violence, Depp filed a $50 million defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife a few months later. In October 2017, Depp filed a $25 million lawsuit against his former business managers, claiming they mismanaged $650 million of his earnings from the previous two decades. The following April, Depp was on the other end of a lawsuit, with two former personal security guards suing him for unpaid wages and their exposure to dangerous work conditions. In July 2018, it was reported that Depp was being sued for allegedly hitting a location manager on the set of his upcoming film City of Lies, about the murder of rapper Notorious B.I.G. According to the suit, the movie star grew irate when told that production was finished for the day, at which point he twice forcefully punched the location manager in the lower left side of his rib cage and unleashed a verbal tirade until being dragged away by his bodyguards. As a result, the movie was pulled from distribution a month before its scheduled September 7 release date. Depp filed a response in which he claimed to be acting in self-defense over Brooks's unlawful and wrongful conduct, which caused him to fear for his safety. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to get more updates and notifications. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.